DAP Malawi and UNICEF are implementing a two-year project, improved education for children in 60 primary schools in Chikwawa, Cholo and Sanje districts. The focus of the project is to promote additional capacity of primary school teachers to be able to act and transform the environment together with other partners in order to improve education standards. We use the methods, a lot of methods, but the method that I use mostly is learner-centered method. <laughs> Because it involves all learners to participate in this lesson and it helps learners to be active in class and it also makes them not to be absent from classes. And they are active most of the times because they do participate in every activity in the lesson. The program aims at spearheading sustainable transformation in the primary schools in line with the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology's National Education Sector Plan. Quality education and inclusiveness in primary education is a key component of Enjoy Learning. DAP Malawi is mainstreaming this in its teacher training colleges. Graduated teachers are modifying the conventional approach to education in making sure that children are central to the learning process. These uh, students teachers, they are, they, they are trying to give more work to the learners, especially when they, uh, they um, put their, the pictures on the walls. Even they are trying to give more assessments every Friday. So uh, by doing that, it helps a lot to the communities. We are, uh, we are taking the time to grab the information from the learners, uh, from the students' teachers. It helps them a lot. Lack of learning materials has always impeded the provision of quality education in primary schools. Teaching and learning using locally available resources, Talula, is encouraged to maintain high levels of education standards in the rural areas of Malawi. As the way Talula, it means teaching and learning using locally available resources. So as you can see around, there are so many things that we've done using the things that we have and that are surrounded us. We do practice to make these things because we are actually will be posted in villages where there are no technological things. So we are learning to do these things, to make these things, so that when we go there we can use the locally available resources that are there to make things so that the students, the, the learners that you are teaching should understand clearly what we want to teach them. Enjoy Learning also makes sure that vulnerable children are given a chance to excel in education. The project encourages inclusiveness and non-discrimination. <laughs> The graduated teachers spearhead sanitation and hygiene at the schools. Child-friendly schools are essential in retaining learners in class as the environment is attractive and conducive for education. In order to attract and retain learners as well as provide lessons in an innovative way, extracurricular activities like sports and music are incorporated in the learning process. This project, so many things have changed at this school. I can say in terms of cleanliness of the school, 
At first, we had very few toilets, but as of now, we have been given so many toilets which have changed the life of the learners. Even the behavior of the learners have completely changed because the learners are involved in so many activities. Some are extracurricular activities and some are done during the lessons. So, in short, I can say there are so many things and these learners in terms of absenteeism, the absenteeism has reduced and even the dropouts, the number of dropouts and there's also retention from especially girls. School gardens are also vital in making sure that learners get nutrition at school. The learners also acquire modern agriculture skills that may be transferred to communities. <laughs> The DAB graduated teachers also provide in-service training to fellow teachers in schools they work. Monthly pedagogical sessions are conducted on weekends by DAP graduated teachers with other teachers enrolled in the project. Methodologies of imparting lessons are shared at the sessions. So uh, in terms of uh, SP session, it helps us in terms of uh, bringing new methodology on how we can assist these learners for them to understand whatever you are teaching. For instance, uh, we have put those towers they're there for them to use it on their own, even these portfolios. That is, uh, we have introduced it just because of what, uh, those SPSC sessions. Without it doing so, some of the schools, uh, they're not doing well just because they're lacking of SPSC session. Because in that particular SPSC session, there is what, uh, those good methodologies, how you can enjoy the learning. <laughs> Community involvement in the provision of quality and inclusive education is key. The community structures like the mother groups have a role to play in making sure that learners find school enjoyable. Tuya mother group wima tandiza siga na kusajomba kuzisa malira yotu pilao maga maga jolinga jatu njoti mapunzira wabide basogoro Ministry of Education, Science and Technology believes that Enjoy Learning has made improvements in the provision of quality education in the districts. I've got 18 schools. Out of 18 schools, DAP has managed to go through 10 schools. DAP has brought school gardens. At first we had no school gardens in schools and now we have managed to harvest uh, maize and peas. Teachers are able to use these participatory methods involving learners. Teachers are able to use the tabla and they have managed to make the tabla banks in class in various classes there are tabla banks whereby they keep their resources, teaching resources. This year we have managed to to, to send many learners to various secondary schools. Especially we are happy that most girls have gone to secondary schools. Another thing is the admission. Uh, many girls were leaving schools, were dropping uh, because of various reasons. And now they are, they are now back at school because of the project.
through mother groups.